So now in this video we improved the op-amp non-inverting comparator circuit that we had in the last video. We had a trim pot, now we have a light dependent resistor. So our uh, signal is going to depend on the light level. You can see it gets dark, the voltage drops all the way down. And uh, when we get it uh, brighter, the voltage uh, goes up. When we have an output uh, low right now, well the signal voltage is lower than our reference voltage. When I make the lamp brighter, now we just made it uh, slightly higher right there the lamps at its brightest again we're up a little bit now the output is high the red LED is lit up so now we're using the LM358 again it's a dual op amp one on one side one on the other you do have to power it though uh, pin 8 up there positive supply and then uh, pin 4 down there uh, negative supply or ground and uh, we have the uh, same basic uh, schematic except for now the uh, fixed value resistors are lower they are still to the inverting input though we got a reference of uh, 2.5 volts so i switched where the uh, inputs are on the schematic versus what they are on the integrated circuit so be aware of that here the inverting input is down lower there it is up higher we have a light dependent resistor there so i'm using a 3000 ohm resistor for the low side voltage divider i just kept using different uh, value resistors till i found one that worked well with the light level I get from my lamp. So uh, you would adjust that to adjust to the light levels you're working with. And zooming in, we got our uh, dual op amp there, but we're only using one on that side. We got to power it. We're using five volts right there. The output up here comes to that jumper to where the LEDs are. So we got positive there. So the blue LED will light up when the output's low, when it's connected to ground, as you can see there. When the output is high, then the red LED will light up, as you can see that current path there. We lose a little bit of voltage though when the output is high. That's something to be aware of. Now, uh, right below that, we got our inverting input. Where we get our reference voltage, a couple of fixed resistors there, so they're equal value. You get half of the supply voltage, 5 volts, so 2.5 volts. And then our signal here, which it compares whether the signal is higher for high or lower than our reference voltage for low. And uh, that comes up here to the light dependent resistor to the positive supply and a fixed value resistor making a voltage divider to the negative supply.